So, ladies and gentlemen, you are, might ask yourself, what is going on? If we are looking into the uh, you know stock market in general, it's quite bloody. I mean, the S and P down two percent, the Dow two percent, more than that, and the Nasdaq one point five percent down. Okay, so. In general, you can obviously say, okay, it's the season, right? I mean, if you just type in Wall Street seasons, um, you will find the chart, hopefully, that I can show you here, um, where you are actually, let me, um, SMP year season. So here you can see that, you know, on usual, the seasonality is that in the second half of july stock market goes down okay the first july week is always great and uh, second july week is you know not so good but then it goes like in a let's say neutral position until uh, october november when we see usually rallies as well so what does it mean so first of all you know it's something usual happening during that time but obviously we have also very very bad news from the health front which is basically the delta variant sweeping across asia okay now you say okay why this should be so waiting on the market well for once there is you know the western world you know if you're watching from the us or europe or so on you are actually seeing that okay you know most of them of your friends and everybody is vaccinated and you know 95 percent of all the people getting this variant are not vaccinated and so on and if you get vaccinated and also get the delta variant it's not so hard the uh, hospitalization is also not so bad yes that's all true you are right but there's also asia okay asia is a big part of our global um you know supply system okay think about what happened recently for the auto industry right the car industry where where chips are missing and they cannot even when they are okay to build more cars they can't because the chips are not enough coming from asia and now asia is one of the most affected by this delta variant so obviously is this waiting on on the stocks market in uh, western europe and 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 uh, you know in, in western world like us right um, and I believe that this is something to not take as, you know, too easy. It will be forgotten in some couple of weeks, hopefully, when we also went through that wave. But it's still waiting on stocks in the Western world. And this is really, really the bad thing. OK, so these are the two things that actually uh, heavy uh, on the market right now, but also specifically today. But then I will show you something else. Also the spec market, the meme stocks, all of this now in the Q2 somehow, you know, get less interest, people trading less and so on. So all of that gives also an addition that people take money from the market and then you can see this deep red numbers, all right? Um, you can also see here, this is the sharpest rally, one of the sharpest rallies that we ever had. And uh, we are coming now to a, a ratio where it's basically, you know, suddenly usually going, going more down. Okay, the risk was very, very low because all was in recovery, it couldn't get worse, so to say. But now it's slowly really count, okay, which stocks are really benefiting, okay? And this with this set, obviously we will talk about space today as well, where you can see that, you know, as soon as the stock went under 30 and at 28 levels in the pre-market, we were pre-market minus seven. Now we are plus three or almost four. We was almost six already in, 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 in uh, positive this morning. And then you can see really that people are seeing, okay, this is really a cheap price for Virgin Galactic right now. There's nothing wrong with the company, okay? There's nothing wrong. They are delivering. They're just having the best company right ever. And this is exactly the best moments actually when you can buy cheap stock because as soon as this all recover, it might take weeks, it might take months, it might be tomorrow. But as soon as this recover, I can easily imagine that Virgin Galactic make a you know jump of 10, 15%. I mean, if we are looking into uh, the one month 
uh, performance of space, you will see that uh, it was very, very painful, almost 40% that we lost. But I, I would say, you know, easily 20% of that was because of the overall market, right? And uh, with that said, I want to, you know, go inside the, um, the chart here because I said many, many times, you know, this is a huge support here, okay? It's like a double support. So first you have here around 28, the 50 moving average, okay? The 50 moving average is the average of the last 50 trading days, which means that it's always a, a trailing trend line across the chart. And usually traders are picking up here very close because usually you have you could have a bounce, but on the other side, if they're crossing this one, then this could be very bad for the stock as well. As uh, an example here, you have seen already in uh, April with the bad news, the stock just went down and then it crossed the 50 moving average and then it went further down, even crossed the 200 moving average. And then at some point when the good news came, the stock recovered. Okay, now we have good news, but the market is bad. So I don't think that we are going further down below this level. This would be very surprisingly because then it could be even going lower to the 20s maybe, right? Um, but I think this is this is something that is really highly dependent on how the situation works with the Delta variant. What about these um, earnings numbers? We have now in, we are now in earnings season. This means that we could have a lot of positive news and we're seeing that, but the market is so in a bad sentiment that it's barely react to those great numbers, okay? And if we are like talking in general about the space industry, then obviously the next big thing is actually Blue Origins flight, okay? On the 20th of July, so basically uh, tomorrow, um, because now I'm already on the 19th of July today here in Germany, um, we see the first human flight mission with Blue Origin. And I'm telling you, that this could be very, very positive for Virgin Galactic because people, um, I discussed this in, in our Discord chat um, and, you know, there's some people saying, you know, think about it, you know, people just buy space companies and Virgin Galactic is one of them. So uh, to have a piece of this new market, which is always interesting, guys, new markets are for people, investors, very, very interesting. Um, so they will look into that, okay, Blue Origin, I cannot invest. What is the next big thing? You know, Virgin Galactic. Yes, I heard something about Ver uh, Richard going up and the working uh, company is now preparing for com com commercialization. And of course, it's very early. Yes, but that's why Virgin Galactic is a $7 billion company, not a $70 billion company, okay? However, I strongly believe that at one point in time, Virgin Galactic will be a maybe even 250 billion dollar company okay so imagine that you know that would be let me just take out my uh, calculator here imagine we are really reaching in a couple of years and this is important guys uh, you know that uh, we have a 250 billion dollar valuation divided by seven that is a 35 fold and if you're uh, multiplying this by today's stock price of around 32 that would be a 1142 dollar stock okay and i'm sincerely believing that maybe in five years or seven years we can go to that all right it's about how much you can envision uh, being now invested in an early stage company, you know, it's like a startup, it's, it's pre-revenue, but once they are there, you know, more and more people will be interested into this company. Moreover, you know, you have to be very, very aware that this kind of, uh, you know, crazy up and downs are normal for this kind of early stage companies, okay? I will show you an example. Like if we're going into Tesla, right? and uh, we zooming a little bit out and uh, watching where they were for example 2010 july 1st 2010 they were at four dollars okay then they went up to seven dollars so almost you know doubled wait a second here you can see seven dollars you know just a couple of months uh, later like like six months later um or five months later and then you know three months later to that they were again at five dollars so you can see this 
up and down, then again seven, then five, you know, then another jump to 30, you know, then 20, back to 25. Um, then they were at 40, you know, uh, back to under 30 and so on and so forth. So this up and down is very, very common, okay, here as well, you know, at 70 and back to uh, 59, 56, you know, that's, that's, and on here even, you know, we, they bent, went back even to 37 then, you know, so all of this, what we are seeing now with Virgin Galactic happened with um, Amazon, Google, Tesla, all of those going in the early stages through this very, very volatile market. And with that said, I mean, you know, it shows that there is very much interest into this stock, almost 5% on a very bad day. And I will show you one more thing before we ending this year. Um, worst days on the stock market, okay? And you will see that we are landing on the page of Wikipedia that shows us the worst days, okay? Here you can see the worst day, 87, with minus 22%, uh, or back in March, mid of March, minus 12% and so on, you know. So those was very, very bad days. And now think about it, when was the best days? Exactly, just a couple of days later, right? Because at some point we find a button where we from there can just, you know, explode to brand new levels, okay? So here you can see worst day was the 16th of March, best, one of the best days was 24th of March, okay? Um, or another example here in the uh, 2008 section, right? The worst day was on the 15th October and the best day was 28th of October. So you can see that it's always an up and down and at some point from the worst days, the best days are flourishing. And with that said, please subscribe, please like, uh, check out the links in the description if you want to have much more because this is just the phase. Um, I'm continuing discussing with my members in my Discord and if you are ready to join and invest in yourself to be a better investor, then click the links below and I see you on the other side because don't forget, the grass is greener on the other side.